On today's podcast, we're going to discuss the reasons certain safety practices are in place, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. Now, if you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money and each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. When you make a podcast or social media post, one of the things you almost always try to adhere to is keeping your information evergreen. Being evergreen means it's fresh, relevant, and will never go out of date to those consuming it. On our last podcast entitled, Are You Ready Every Day? We spoke about our world being in the grips of the coronavirus. Unfortunately, the situation appears that it's going to get worse before it gets better. And it's the same reason why I've chosen to break the constraints of remaining evergreen to hammer in our message today. Now, what is that message? It's the idea that there's a reason for everything. Do you remember the first time you saw signs telling you not to climb into enclosures at the zoo and thought, why would anybody ever want to do that? Not only did enough people do it that it required the zoos to create and display a permanent sign, but people continue to do it even though it goes beyond all common sense and there are warnings on why you shouldn't do it. The same thing exists with the coronavirus. Most of us know we shouldn't cough and sneeze without covering our face. We should regularly wash our hands and maintain good, if not great, hygiene. We should keep our fingers out of our mouth and eyes. We shouldn't go to work in other public places when sick. And we should wear protective gear when handling anything that we're serving to others. And although the coronavirus and all the chaos surrounding it will eventually go away, the rules that are created during it won't. And at some point, people are going to wonder why they're told to wash their hands so much. There are so many hand sanitizers around at the facility and why they're being told to use them so much. Social distancing is so widely enforced. Safety masks are needed. Safety gloves aren't just for protecting your hands any longer. Shaking hands is prohibited. Clean and sterile environments and practices are strictly enforced. The difference is now there are going to be signs and very likely teams within facilities that will create and enforce enhanced hygiene and safety practices. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. Now back to the podcast. At the start of this podcast, we spoke about why there's always a reason for how certain things are handled. In the commercial you just heard, you know how our sponsor has all the safety signs and floor markings you would ever need to accommodate creating social distancing markings throughout your facility, as well as signs indicating hand washing stations. A benefit that they have over other safety tape and sign companies is their ability to create almost any custom design you need and do so in-house. In addition, all the signs and floor markings are manufactured with their patented process and made in the USA. As you can imagine, needs that have never surfaced before will arise from this coronavirus pandemic. And thanks to our sponsor, your facility can have specialized safety signs and floor markings that will be needed to enforce these new needs, policies, and guidelines. We will get through this. We will get back to business as usual. And we will be here to bring you safety tips to continually help you, your staff, and your facility stay safe 
organized, and productive. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit warehousesafetytips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.